What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Grow Out. This is episode 30. Oh, we hit the 3-0. Super cool. If you don't know what this series is, this is where I show my whole backs growing up, eating, feeding. I said that twice. Pooping, shedding, and breeding. We actually got some that are big enough to breed now. Females, anyway. Last year, you saw my male breed. This year, you're going to see my females breed. Super excited for that. I believe a female gets paired with a male in this one. Uh, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. All right, guys, here we go with Dee Dee. Oh, there you go. Oh, she busted it open. And this girl is close to going in the shed. And she's still eating, so let her do her. Here we go with Silk. The 100% uh, 100% clown pie, 50% pasted albino. Uh, these smalls are a little smaller than usual, so these guys, I'm gonna try to give them something a little bigger next week. Here we go with Goliath, who missed a meal for the first time last week. And maybe again. So, bought to pair this boy with. Oh, forgot to show you. I'm spraying down her tub. Let's go back in here with Oblina. And hopefully he gets the job done. I grabbed him weirdly. So sprayed the tub down. I'm gonna put him in there. Last time he was really trying to lock with her. He had his uh, hemipenes uh, cruising her body, doing his thing. So hopefully this time he locks. Her uh, follicles are really big, like super big golf ball size. So she's real close to ovulation. So hopefully I can get a lock with him. And that's all she needs. All right, guys. Here's Dee Dee. Um, coming out of blue. So I missed the actual blue eye. So she's about to shed soon. So we'll come back when she sheds. Here we go with Dee Dee. Fresh shed, looking clean. So I'll get a weight on her, and then we're gonna get her new tub. All right, hold on. All right, guys, we're gonna get a quick weight on her. Get that to zero. Six twenty-nine. Oh, this girl getting size on her. We're gonna just say six twenty-nine to be safe. All right, let's get this girl in the fresh new tub. All right, here's this girl, Dee Dee, in a fresh tub, clean. She probably's gonna get a new tub um, next month. You're always weary when you move snakes to new tubs because they can stop eating on you, so we'll see. Um, she's an awesome eater, honestly, so I don't think she has, should have a problem. But yeah, on to the next. Here we go with Silk. The 100% hit uh, clown albino. The 100% hit clown pied female. 60, 50% hit albino. Oh, why can't I remember that better? <laughs> Here goes Dee Dee. 100% hit clown pied. Ah, let me reposition her. Hold on. She did just come off a shed, so she might not be super hungry. Never mind. Here she goes. 
<laughs> yeah, she's a beast. She always eating. All right. Here's Goliath. Who is in breed mode. The Inchi 100% clown. We'll see if he eats this week. There you go. There you go, boy. So guys, I missed that Deku was in blue. Or is going into blue. And he might be coming out of blue. So he should be shedding real soon. So we'll check back with him when he sheds and looks all beautiful. All right, guys. All right, guys, you're about to put Goliath with Kagome, the pied girl. We've already sprayed down the tub. Uh, hopefully that gets him frisky. He went off feed for a little bit, but now he's eating again. I think he missed like two or three meals, but now he's eating again. So we're about to start pairing him again. I uh, wanted to make sure he was still eating while he was pairing. Still haven't got a visual lock with this guy with any of the two girls he's been paired with, but hopefully he's got the idea. He's getting close to it. All right. So here's Goliath with Kagome. You can see his tail there. He's getting close. Hopefully he can figure it out. Super excited for this pairing. All right, here we go with Goliath, the clown, Inchi clown. Oh, there he missed it, but he still got it. <laughs> he missed the head, but he still got it. I have to push him down a little bit. Hold on. Here we go with Dee Dee, who is clearly ready. The 100% head albino. Oh, she missed it. 100% head. I mean, 100% head clown. 50. 100% head clown. 50% head albino. I always mess that up. <laughs> and here is Silk. There you go, girl. 100% head clown. Pied. 50% pos el albino. Got it right that time. And here's Poison Ivy, who I thought I was gonna sell, but I decided to keep. So we're putting her back in the grow out. And I'm gonna further explain plans with her. Oh. You know you want a girl, there you go. There you go. Come on, girl. There you go. She's a beast. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's Deku with a fresh shed. Looking so clean. My boy. All right, let's get him a new tub. Hold on. All right, here's Deku in a fresh tub. Looking clean. He's about to get him some water. Unfortunately, he's not eating because he's in breed mode so he's he's still a good size good girth he's actually only probably getting paired with one girl maybe two if somebody else doesn't do their job so but yeah uh it's deku let's get back to it all right guys here's poison ivy who have i introduced back into the series i was had the idea to sell her but now i'm gonna keep her and use her as you know one of my first dark morphs and really start producing dark morph stuff or uh oh she's really feisty all of a sudden uh yeah i i think i want to pair her to a blackhead either a blackhead or a lavender albino blackhead uh i do want to get a uh, lavender albino into ghi but I also still want to go dark with it. So I think she's going to get hit with two different males the first year she's ready and see what she produces. And then the next year we'll go the opposite way. I think I'm going to do that with her. I don't even know if I'm in frame because this girl is just all over the place. But she's definitely getting size. She's a great eater. She still has the red monster i don't know if you guys can see that from looney tunes the hair monster 
She has that. I think she has a skull. Yeah. She has a skull there. Hopefully you guys can see that. She's just an awesome snake. I'm really starting to be glad that I kept her. And especially since she's she's such a good eater. Hopefully she's a great breeder for me too. But yeah, it's just a quick snapshot of this girl. See if we get her to stay still for two seconds. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys, here's Silk. Just sprayed her down. You can see she's in blue. So we'll check back with her when she sheds. Looking all pretty. Here we go with Dee Dee, who is clearly ready to eat. <laughs> she's so ready. The 100% clown pied 50% pos head albino uh yeah give me a second i gotta stick her back in she's almost ready for a new tub here's poison ivy the ghi 50% pos head albino ready to eat yeah here we go guys silk has shed so we're gonna give her a new tub Clean her top out, get her new top. So one sec. All right, here's Silk in her new top, clean. Uh, fresh shed, looking good. Um, then we're gonna try to give her some food in a day or so. All right. Here we go guys, episode 30 in the books. Super excited for that. Um, I hope Goliath could get it together and did lock, but on time will tell. He's still a young male, so it is what it is. Um, hopefully we get a girl on eggs this season. Super excited for these girls to produce uh, very nice females, possibly producing some very amazing babies. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, wait, since it's 30 episode, I'm going to do a t-shirt giveaway. You get a GP Snakes t-shirt. All you have to do is tell me the girl Goliath was paired with in this video and you'll get entered into a random comment picker and you'll i'll pick the winner in the next uh grow out series and they'll get a free t-shirt from gp snakes but thanks for watching guys as always tell me what was your favorite strike and what's your favorite animal in this youtube series and appreciate the love and support and i'll see you guys in the next video hit the like button too see you guys next thursday